Hi everyone, my name is David Revoix and I'm a French digital painting artist and webcomic artist and I work on GNU Linux, uh, a system named Manjaro and uh, this is the XFCE version, I can show you here my menu and I'm doing a little video because I was invited to this event here uh, the little window here, I will take the mouse and um, I couldn't come because I'm living in France and it's a long trip and it would be a too long period to to not produce a webcomic uh, Pepper and Carrot because yeah, I'm producing a webcomic and you can find it on peppercarrot.com and uh, it's a lot of work and uh, this webcomic is also uh, libre and open source and have a big community of translator uh, if you click on the episode you can see there is many language available and uh, of course at the end of the webcomic you can also find the source here there is a link with always all the source so it's a big community you can see the list of translator for only one episode here it's a big community and I couldn't come to to this event. So sorry for not being physically here, but uh, so I decided on this Friday evening uh, to prepare a little video to show you why I choose open source software to do my daily work. So I'm starting this talk with playing a video in the background. It's a video of uh, me painting a page of pepper and carrot. And uh, this video will help you to have something visual and not my face all the time. So why I use open source? Um, it's a bit of a complex story and uh, maybe the trigger uh, was back in 2009 when I boot a computer. And this uh, computer, I boot it in a supermarket. Uh, I had uh, I was already a freelancer, freelance illustrator with uh, all my lessons because I, I boot all my software like Corel Painter, Adobe Photoshop, Manga Studio, etc, etc. And um, I, I wanted just a better machine um, and uh, I wanted more, more power of uh, uh, computer. And uh, I crossed in the supermarket a good offer, uh, this type of offer that uh, that's uh, very harmful and a lot of uh, like 10 very good computer, very good performance. And uh, I just decided to buy it. So I, I took it and I was really happy to buy a computer for a cheap price, a performance computer. But uh, when I was back home, I discovered this computer uh, had this new operating software, uh, soft system, operating system. Uh, it was Windows Vista by this time, uh, so maybe 2008, not 2009. So Windows Vista, and uh, in my in my opinion, it was it was not a big deal because I saw it on the box of the computer that uh, this computer has Windows Vista, and all my software, of course, were running on Windows XP. But uh, I had also a license of Windows XP, so I had the box, and I thought uh, I thought. I will just uh, erase this Windows Vista from this machine and just put my Windows XP on it and all my software will run and uh, problem solved. And I couldn't do this. Uh, it was a big problem because um, the hardware of this new computer had no, but no driver at all for Windows XP. So I had to use this new Windows Vista. And I discovered that all my software, Adobe Photoshop, uh, Corel Painter, uh, and uh, even Manga Studio, every software, and it was a lot of money for me, uh, all this software couldn't run on Windows Vista. They could, uh, it was just a pile of work around. Uh, I had to, to, to edit some special files, the software were unstable, and all this software, of course, proposed an upgrade for uh, getting a Windows Vista version. So uh, the upgrade didn't propose ever a new feature. The, the feature were almost non-existent. 
I think it was Photoshop CS3 to, to have the v Windows Vista version. And uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't a good deal and it was really expensive for just getting a compatibility layer. And of course, uh, I had to buy some upgrade pack, so I couldn't even get a new version of the box. It was, I had to install, for example, my Adobe Photoshop CS2 and add a layer of an upgrade box to go from CS2 to CS3. So it was really also hard to maintain. And uh, when I saw all this, uh, I, I was totally... Uh, I was totally pissed off uh, because uh, I feel totally trapped and uh, I feel that uh, I had no control about nothing into this and I'm just here to spend money for a bad service. So I decided to, to have a look to the other side and uh, to the alternative, what I could do to uh, be free of this system. And uh, I met uh, the software, uh, the, the open source software. And by this time, there wasn't a lot of uh, good software. Uh, there was, of course, GIMP who was very good. There was MyPaint, very young project at this time. Uh, and Krita, also not very good at this time too. But I thought that if I give feedback to this project and if I keep using them, and if I keep being active around them, uh, even if I'm just a user, but uh, just uh, to show that it's possible to do good art with them, uh, even if it takes a bit more time, even if I'm a bit limited by feature, uh, I thought that uh, maybe I could also show a sort of example of uh, using this alternative and uh, maybe uh, inspire a community or something. So I decided to keep this idea and I met all the developers uh, with time, with a lot of uh, bug report, with a lot of uh, feedback and with time, everything came very good. Um, I had a lot of uh, good feedback from the MyPaint team, from the Krita team and uh, we work it together and now the the tool are are quite quite good and uh, that's why i can do my webcomic from scratch on uh, gnu linux and uh, with this amazing tool so of course this is uh, a version of my speech uh, a bit shorter than usual because i wanted to make a less than 10 minute video uh, because you are on a, on a big meeting and uh, I don't want to, to keep you in front of a long speech video. You have better to do uh, to interact with real people. And thank you for hearing this little video. Uh, I hope it will inspire you to also use software even if they are not ready, give feedback. Uh, contribute to bug report because uh, you are designing uh, the software of tomorrow. Even if you are just a user, even if you are just a reporter, you are part of uh, designing the tool of tomorrow. And uh, these are good tools, these are free tools, these are tools where you are independent and this is gold. Thank you.